Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hobart Bay Sports Network. I am your host Justin Winter, and today the Hobart Bay Ones take on the 0-2 Cincinnati Bearcats led by Malik Clements. Clements. It was four tackles, three tackles for loss, half a sack, two picks already though, that's pretty good, including a defensive touchdown, I'm guessing that was a pick six, and he also has a pass deflection. He's pretty solid all around, but not the best player that we've seen so far this season. Mm. Got pretty good speed, I'd say. More than he needs. Got plenty of stamina, too. He won't go down easy. They also have quarterback Ross Trail, who went 23 for 57 in his first two games. Almost 300 yards. Five touchdowns to four picks, though. That's, that's pretty bad, for being honest. But that's not to say that he doesn't have the talent. I mean, he's got... Pretty good throw power, amazing accuracy, 95 accuracy, and he's got some legs too. It's not as if he can't throw, it's not as if he can't run. And then they have, they have Joshua Holloman, 200 yards already on the ground, averaging about seven yards per carry. No touchdowns though, which is surprising, and a longest run of 13 yards. However, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 97 agility. Need I say more? This man is going to be a nightmare. Do not let this man get into open space. Oh my goodness, it will be a nightmare. Here we are back in Hobart Bay, Alaska, where Hobart Bay takes on the Cincinnati Bengals. Not Bengals, Bearcats. So it's not the NFL. If it was the Cincinnati Bengals, we would be seeing a slaughter. Instead, we see a game which should be good. Hobart Bay doing well, but they're missing their starting quarterback in Stupinski, and thus far they've yet to find a quarterback who's truly consistent. Albert White was pretty good, but not good enough. I'll just have to see how this one goes. We can see how it starts down at the coin toss. Alright, Cincinnati going to choose Tails, and it is Tails. And they will choose to kick the ball off to start the game. Here we go. We have kickoff from Hobart Bay, Alaska. It's raining. It's probably pretty cold too. I don't know. I'm in a booth. Booth. Wow. That was a miss. <laughs> that was a bad pronunciation. First down and ten. And it looks like Albert White will be in the game. Trey Regis takes it up for nine yards to start off the game. We'll see how Albert White does today. I formation here on second down and one. Hand off to Trey Regis. Gets more than enough for a first down. Five yards there. Second down and seven. Here we go, shotgun. Hand off to Regis again, and he stopped about a yard and a half short of the first down. They're doing a lot of runs right now. I formation again. Hand off up the middle again. First down again. Here we go. Play action now. Albert White looking, throws, and that is caught by Tyler Lamb. Beautiful play there. They set it up perfectly. Toss left to Trey Regis, and his blockers did not do their job. Loss of six yards there. Taquan Statham, or Statham, one of the two. Third down and 16 now. And Albert White looking to throw. Goes over the middle. Intercepted by Clements highlighted him before the game and he sure has come up early today and Adam Coleman or Albert White sorry continues to struggle lost trail here on the option does not get anything after he loses four yards so that's a pretty good start for the Hobart Bay defense Spencer Johnson got the tackle tied in the motion here trail looking to throw he will run it himself, and he'll get taken down after a gain of six, bringing about third down and eight. Looking to throw again, will he take it himself? No. Instead, he finds Bates and gets half a yard. Hobart Bay is going to take over. And this, <laughs> this is something. The new quarterback in leave of Stupinski is the fullback, R.C. Wilson. He's going to hand it off to Trey Regis to start, and they don't lose a yard. Not a great way to start. Matthew Draper on the tackle. 
but you got the fullback in as the quarterback. This is kind of crazy. R.C. Wilson keeps here, and he gets enough for a first down. He's got some legs. It's a pretty decent speed there for R.C. Wilson, 18 yards. Here we go. Hands off to Jamar Williams Shepard. He goes forward for seven yards, bringing about third down to three. Clock winding down on this first quarter. Fakes the handoff, Wilson keeps, and he gets enough for another first down for Hobart Bay. Well, it seems to be working so far. Now they're going to try to pass. Why not? Rolling out, and nope, he's just going to run it instead. And he goes out of bounds after a game of 12. Make it look like they're going to try a pass, but no. Anyway, that one is going to end the first quarter. Crazy things happening. An interception. A fullback at quarterback. This is... <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't wait to see the rest of this one. Here we go. First down to start off the second quarter. Hand off to Regis, and he has a lot of space, and he gets stopped at about the two-yard line. Maybe the one-yard line. First down and goal. I have a goal line formation. Toss left to Regis, and Regis has the outside for a Hobart Bay touchdown. The ones strike first. Fitting for the mascot. The mascot being the number, the number one specifically. So here we go. Cincinnati will take over. Down. Trying to make something happen, perhaps tie the game up. Trail kept it and somehow made Spencer Johnson miss and gets a lot of yards, 12 yards on that one. Now second down and 10. Hand off to Holloman. Holloman makes some cuts for a first down. Crazy. That man, hard to contain. Trail looking for an option, instead keeps and he finds enough for another first down. Bearcats doing very good right now. Hand off to Holloman. Holloman broke a tackle and eventually gets taken down after a gain of nine. Lots of runs by both teams. And Trail keeps this one. He has space on the outside. <laughs> he was kind of hesitant, but he got the first down. Now second down and nine. Hand off to Boos now. And Boos gets enough for a first down. Interesting. Third down and seven. Perhaps a throw on this one. Trail's pretty tired though. Looking to throw. And it's a screen, but he gets sacked instead. Loss of about nine and a half yards there. Nate Link, of course, he's got to have some impact this season. And that kick is up and good. It looked like it might trail left. You push that one back three, four, five yards, and that's why I've left. Here we go, triple option. Wilson will keep it. And he's got a lot of space up the middle for the first down. Right now, this uh, this game plan is working. Just running the ball a whole bunch. Hand off to Regis, and he fights forward for a gain of six right there. Now third down at three. Here we go. Option keeper Wilson gets a block downfield. Doesn't really use it. Ten yards though. First down, Hobart Bay. My goodness. Hand off to Regis, and there's another first down run. These guys are running the ball like nobody's business. Hand off to Regis again, and lots of space again. Another first down. Less than a minute left in the first half, though. Gotta watch out for that. Winding down to about 40 seconds left. Here we go. Wilson, they're showing the throw, but he's probably gonna run. He does. Makes a cut, and falls forward for the touchdown. What a play by R.C. Wilson. 35 seconds left, Hobart Bay takes a two-score lead, and this new game plan, somehow, just running the ball, including plenty of options, with a fullback a quarterback, is working. Zerk kicks this one off. That one will be returned by Boos, and he finds, ooh, he finds a hole, lots of space, and he just gets taken down. He could have gone all the way. He was very close to going all the way, but the 42? Third down and four, 19 seconds left. Not out of the question, uh, perhaps a field goal. Trail, looking, goes to the left, caught by Paul. And it looks like he got out of bounds there, 14 yard gain. I don't know, a good throw could get them into field goal range. It's not out of the question yet. First down and 10, five wide. 
trail. Obviously going to throw. Goes to his right. Has plenty of time. And they get sacked. Timeout Cincinnati. Eight seconds left. This is going to have to be a quick play. Can't let it stretch out. Looks like a little screen play. Caught by Boost. And Jackson misses. And Boost gets ahead to about the 34. In the rain. This is going to be a 52 yarder. In the rain. This is a hard kick. Here we go. This one to end the first half. Kick is up and good. Wow, great kick by Woods to end the first half. And that cuts Hobart Bay's lead down to 8. 14 to 6 at halftime. This was a wild half, and if you saw the scorecard down at the bottom, yes, Wake Forest just upset number three Miami. Anyway. On this game, <laughs> forget passing the ball. Cincinnati, they've done some passing, you know, it's, it's okay, but both teams are excelling in the run game. They're excelling in it. Cincinnati, obviously, less so than Hobart Bay, but they're still doing really good. And I mean, I mean, you wonder why the score is so low? Perhaps it's because they're running the ball using up a ton of clock. It's probably why this game is so low scoring. But nevertheless, let us not let that take away from what these teams have done. Hobart Bay, obviously, they're doing more. Look at the total passing yards. Between the two teams, total passing yards, 48 yards. Cincinnati has 49 rush yards. Okay, so not as good as I thought it was. But still better than their passing game. And Hobart Bay, 145 rushing yards. They never do that good. Then all of a sudden they just explode once they put a fullback in a quarterback. I guess when that's your only option, this is going to be wild second half. And Cincinnati gets to start off with the ball, maybe a little time. Here we go, first play. It's a play action. Trail to the left. Top by Mbonge. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Not. Trail another play action, and he will throw deep, and that is caught by Paul. He's tripped up just short of the first uh, of the goal line. Now second down and goal. Wow, uh, they got more yards in that passing play than any other. And then Taylor Boost caps it off with a touchdown. Well, they're going to go for two. They are going to go for two. Try and tie this game up. Here we go. Looks like Trail's going to throw. No, he's going to run. He tucks it and scores. Cincinnati. They said, okay, we, we ran the ball a bunch in the first half. Let's just throw a deep strike. And it worked. So here we go. Seven and a half minutes left. Wilson fakes that one. And he manages to get five yards on that carry. Now at 82 yards rushing already. Second down and five. Hand off to William Shepard, and he gets stopped in the backfield. Loss of three. That man doesn't get many touches, so uh, he's not going to be happy about that one. Here we go. Triple option. Wilson has the option. Decides to keep it. 12 yards for R.C. Wilson, keeping the drive alive. Here we go. Hand off to Regis up the middle, and he falls forward just inches short of the first down marker. Nevertheless, he's at 71 yards. And a little QB sneak by the fullback will work there. Hey, if it works with the quarterback, it's got to work with the fullback. Wilson keeps again. And he gets taken down for a gain of seven. Third down of four. Option. Keeps it again. Wilson makes a cut. Has a whole lot more space. Great run by R.C. Wilson. 21 yards there. Now at 123 yards on the game. Hand off up the middle to Regis. Regis taken down after a gain of six. About a minute left in the quarter. Hand off to Regis. Another first down as he falls forward for six. They have drained this clock. This team took the ball over with seven minutes, 28 seconds left in the quarter. Only 32 seconds into the quarter. They finished the quarter and they're still not done. 14-14, low scoring affair right now.
Here we go, start of the fourth. How much time are they going to use up before they get any score here? Fakes the handoff. Wilson doesn't pitch and steady keeps it himself. It's tackled after a gain of six. Third down and five. Another option play. Yep. Keeps it and he falls forward for another first down. This running attack. Second down and goal. Here we go. Toss right. Regis. No! Met in the backfield. Loss of a yard. Third down and goal coming up. Here we go. Option. Keeps. Up the middle. Stopped. Only got two. Now at the two yard line. The question is, yes they are. They're going to go for it. Risky move. Toss left. Regis. Space. Touchdown. Hobart Bay. And they finally finished the drive with five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Longest drive I have ever seen. And Trail, he's got to do something. Finds Beard over the middle for a gain of six. Now third down and one. Cincinnati guy get a touchdown here. Trail hurdles a man and gets a first down. Gain of four there. Now third down and five. Cincinnati has got to make something happen. Trail looks like a little screenplay. Boost has it, but Lewis gets him there at the line of scrimmage. And now it's fourth down and five. Here we go. Trail, another screen play. And Boos will not get there. They did not give it to him. Hobart Bay takes over, second down and six. Here we go, trying to drain the clock. Hand off to Regis. Ooh. It's two yards. And that will elicit the first time out from Cincinnati. Third down and four. Critical down here. Wilson rolls out. Oh, he's got all that space. And he has a whole lot more than he needs for a first down. Now will take the second time out from Cincinnati. And Bearcat, not happy about it. They still need another first down, though. And off on the counter. Ray is stuck in the backfield. Loss of five. Hobart Bay could take this down to about 40 seconds and then punt the ball away. That's if they don't get it. Here we go. Triple option. Wilson keeps. Cuts up. Gets eight and a half yards there. Here we go. Six, six and a half yards from getting the win with a fullback at quarterback. Wilson keeps. Wilson up the middle. Got enough. No flags. No fumbles. That will conclude the game. Hobart Bay putting a fullback in at quarterback. Wins 21. Hold on, what's he doing there? 23 carries, 85 yards, two touchdowns. Are you kidding me? Come on, R.C. Wilson got like double that on the ground. No respect. Wow, absolutely no respect. 21-14. What a wild game. Cincinnati couldn't get Hobart Bay off the field. Their offense had limited opportunities. That's part of why the score is so low. Hobart Bay <laughs> just put in a fullback and then have him run read option the entire game. I guess that works. I guess that works. They, they still have some time to go. But uh, we're, we're going to recap this uh, unique game here in the post game show you better you better you better watch albert white went one for three 17 yards no touchdowns in the pick rc wilson went one for three one yard no touchdowns no picks yeah <laughs> two of six on the game what a great passing attack how about the rushing here rc wilson 24 carries 167 yards and a touchdown trey regis 23 carries 85 yards and two touchdowns Somehow, Regis got player of the game. That makes no sense. Jamar Williams Shepard, I would have thought, got more, but nope. And then receiving, two catches all day. Regis for one yard and Lamb for 17 yards. Defensively, Corey and Reynad led the team in six tackles there. No tackles for loss, though. A lot of guys got tackles for loss, though. Donovan Jordan included. Pretty good day on defense for Hobart Bay. 
Bryce Beard led the team in tackles for Cincinnati, eight tackles, seven solo tackles. Ryan Clement, Malik Clements, <laughs> wow, uh, they both got, no, that's not true. I was thinking something else. Anyway, receiving wise, Marcel Paul led the team with 69 yards. Uh, yeah, that's about it. On the ground, also dismal. Ross Trail, 29 yards, Joshua Holloman, 21. Taylor Goose, 8, and a touchdown. It's more so than I thought it was. And then Ross Trail went 11 for 12. Only 119 yards, though. No touchdowns, no picks, but 91% completion. It's pretty good. They should, have thrown. <clears throat> they should have thrown the ball more. They really should have. And then, of course, Hobart Bay, only 18 passing yards. Oh, that's hilarious. But that time of possession, 25 and a half minutes, absolutely insane. And next week, they have to take on the three and one Arizona Wildcats. I wonder if this is gonna work again. For that game, I really hope to see you there. For your sake, I hope you see it. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and have a nice day.